Good afternoon, my name is Patricia Penke, and I'm an entrepreneur. I'm also a writer. I wrote a book called Stop Throwing Cash in the Trash. I'm also an estate sale um, business owner. I have also in the past uh, been the owner and manager of, an, of a travel agency for over 20 years, so I, I, I keep pretty busy. Um, my latest project that I really love, and I, I'm so excited to talk to everybody about it, is a new, totally eco-friendly pain relief cold and heat pack called My Flower Bag. Now, I'm gonna to talk to you in depth about this in a moment. I wanna to talk to you a little bit about myself. I'm originally from Massachusetts, good old New England, where I learned to appreciate nature. We live close to the ocean, um, we, the mountains, uh, fall foliage, it was beautiful. It was, New England by far is a beautiful place. My dad was enlisted in the Air Force, so then we went up to Anchorage, Alaska in 1965 after the earthquake, and where he became friends with one of the old miners um, in Gorwood, Alaska. From there, uh, dad would take us, me and my three siblings, up to the gold mine, and we would sleuth box for gold. Uh, so we were explorers. Dad took us all over the place looking for gold, and he did find it. He was actually featured in um, People's Magazine for helping people discover gold up there. Um, I've had a very interesting childhood um, with discovery and appreciating this world, and I want to keep it as green as possible. I love the ocean. I love the land, and I hate what's happening with toxins to our body and to our land and to our marine waterways. Um, we also, in transferring back to the states, the lower 48, we went to Virginia where we, we looked for emeralds and um, opals and um, rubies. Also Blackbeard's treasure. We also went through looking for Civil War relics We've done about everything. Any show on TV that has to do with treasure hunting, we've done it. So I had a wonderful childhood, and I'd like to keep Earth the way I once knew it back in the 1960s. So when I came up with this idea, it was by accident, but I thought this is, awesome. this is an awesome idea. I had fallen off of a bike in Florida, and I cracked my coccyx bone, my rear end bone, and there really is nothing you can do to rectify that other than just be uncomfortable for about six weeks. So I sent my husband looking for something that I could sit on where I was not in pain. And he came back with a biscuit mix that I had bought from someplace in the Ozarks. It was cold and it felt good. And I put it underneath there and I'm like, this is heavenly. It stayed cold for 30 minutes and it felt so great. We put it back in the freezer, take it back out, and I thank God that I had it. I also tore my rotator cuff and used it for that as well. Um, I called them, back then I called it my flower bag. So I thought, you know what, wherever we went, I had to have my flower bag. Okay, so I thought, do something about that. Try to get this out to the public. So it took me at least a year to try and find the fabric to make my flower bags. Okay, so these are made here right now in our garage. I'm wanting to get involved with um, a factory so that we can go big time, but right now it's just my garage. So what we have here is the machine to stitch the bags. The bags are made of a fabric, a soft muslin fabric, tightly woven uh, from the Middle East. It is pure cotton. Um, it is filled with a flour mixture. And there's a bag within a bag that is vegan made. There is no toxins in this product at all. Zero toxins. I'm gonna talk to you a little minute, in a minute about why that is so important. Okay, so with that, I will talk to you a little bit about why this bag? Number one, it's comfy. One, there's no condensation, no leaking. 
so you stay dry. You don't ruin any furniture. It's cost effective. This, will, this product will last at least a year, if not longer, if kept in great condition in the freezer, away from chemicals or any hazardous -ish situation. Okay, so keep it in the freezer. Uh, it supports, it's made in the USA, it supports the farming community, and we so well need that. All right, so I wrote a little tutorial. Here, first here, I'm gonna show you, this is the storage bag that we keep in the freezer. And again, that is not plastic. No plastics, plastics are bad. Okay, and in here, no plastics, no chemicals, no toxins. All right, so it comes with a little wrap around that talks about how to heat it up in the microwave and also how to keep it in your freezer. Okay, so I want to talk to you a little bit about statistics. All right, there are more than 3,000 landfills in the USA alone. That is 1,800,000 acres of flora and fauna habitat lost. Okay, who was the number one, uh, what's the largest trash per country in the world? China. Next comes the USA, then India. India doesn't even come close to the amount of trash that China and the United States have. Okay, so what's the number one problem with the landfills? Toxins, toxins, okay. Now why would this make such a big difference? This little bag makes such a big difference. Okay, well, in 2022, I'm gonna be fuddling around here a little bit here so I can get my specifics here. Okay, in 2020, 20, in 2022, one billion people were using gel, heat, and cold packs. Okay, that's a problem. And I'm gonna to explain to you why that's a, a bigger problem. So if you have one billion people, that's not one billion bags, that's one billion people using gel or other types of bags. Okay, and your toxins are a problem in the landfills. What happens is these toxins leak out, they get into the waterways, they get into the, water, the rivers, they get into the ocean, they kill marine life. Not only that, but they're bad for the land. They kill wildlife and they emit greenhouse gas emissions, okay? So, I wanna make sure and cover all grounds here. Okay, in the Pacific, and I'm sure you've heard of it, they have the, the great, uh, let's see, the great Pacific garbage patch. I didn't wanna say cabbage patch at all. Garbage patch, it's the largest landfill in the world. 617,000 square miles of plastic and other trash. All right, these are, this is a problem. You know, when you have that much trash, we have to figure out a way to start eliminating that. Like I said, my bags will help with that. Not only will it be great for you, it's great for the environment, it's great for the eco, it's eco-friendly, compositable. Okay, so what is, what's, what toxins are we talking about that are bad? Alrighty, we have ammonium nitrate, sodium polyethate, diethylene, propylo, propylene glycol, polymers such as polyethane, po polyethylene and polyester which are derived from petroleum. Petroleum is a toxic additive that can cause cancer and birth defects. Okay, but why the gel? Okay, well, the gel has this, in not all of them, some of them are trying to take it out, but they also have urea, urea and ethylene glycol antifreeze. Antifreeze is very hazardous to our health. It can cause rapid health, heartbeat, convulsions, inability to urinate, and to be put in a comatose state, not to mention it affects our kidney, lung, brain, and nervous system functions. So all these ingredients like the, the ammonium nitrate and all these glycols, these are in your gel packs, in your gel beads, those instant things that you smack on your leg and you got them. And, and guess what? They're only good for one day, one day. Then they go in the trash, which goes to the landfills, which goes into the waterways. So like I said, this is a huge thing here. 
you know, um, I know there's rice packs out there, but these flour, flour bags are so soft. Um, I am all for rice packs, but these are ultimately the softest things I've ever had. So my goal is to keep these landfills from these toxins, to have something that a person can have that will last a while, thus cost effective. There's nothing else like it out there. Um, I am in the first, it's patent pending. Uh, it's great for cold therapy, or it's great for hot therapy, like thermal therapy. Okay, so, you know, any kind of pain we've got here, you know, if you use it for cold, it reduces blood flow for inflammation and pain and swelling, tendonitis, sprains, bruises, muscle strains, headaches, discomfort, runner's knee, heat stroke. Okay, for hot, it widens the blood vessels, which is good for chronic back pain, neck pain, neuropathic pain, and abdominal cramping. Great for when you have the time of your month. <laughs> okay, so I can't say enough about these. Um, I, this is sort of a pitch, but, you know, this is, I guess, something that I have to turn in to high V right now, and this is kind of a, uh, an all-in-all all of what I'm trying to do with this product. Um, right now, I don't, I haven't mass-produced it. I've been selling it to people that just know about it. I haven't fully started advertising it yet, but I believe that the people that I know that have it love them, and they want their friends to have them. So I'm hoping that this is an intro for High V because I've not gone anyplace else yet other than with High V. My next step will be others. Okay, so today I want to say, with holding my bag, start feeling the sensation and do away with the condensation and keep this world green.